Here in Mobile, officers and deputies are dealing with the aftermath of these shootings. We spoke with one deputy who's been in law enforcement for more than 20 years, and we got his thoughts on patrolling the streets in today's environment. Our Ashley Knight rode with him and has this story. Damn boy, so we get somebody clear. I came to the sheriff's office in 2004. Sergeant Roy Emmons started in the reserves, then the Mobile Police Department. Now he's on patrol for the sheriff's office. Statistically, it's from 10 a.m. to 2 in the afternoon where most of your residential burglaries occur. After doing ride-alongs with a friend, he discovered law enforcement was his calling. He gave me his reaction to the Dallas shootings. The officers went to work that morning just not knowing that they were, were not going to make it home that night. There's no way to really prepare yourself completely for a situation like that, even being in law enforcement. Emmons has never had to use deadly force in any situation and hopes he never has to, but he's going about his job a little differently today. You have a little more fear of, of what can happen in your job. You got to be more alert. You got to keep what they call your head on a swivel. Emmons wife Lynn also works with the sheriff's office as a probation officer. They've been married 31 years and she told me her reaction when her husband came to her about his decision to join law enforcement. I tried to encourage him to do something else, but it was in his heart. It's very stressful, but you know, all you can do is hope and pray. Although difficult, Lynn has stayed supportive of her husband's decision and has advice for other spouses. They need that support. You have to be there to let them know that, you know, if they need to talk or if they just need their space, um, be there to, you know, to support them in the career that they have chosen. In Mobile, Ashley Knight, News 5.